Hey what's up guys it's me again and welcome back to my channel Metaver Ifs today I am back with the new story the name of this story is what if Naruto was blessed by chaos the goddess of prank and with the power of memes and yeah guys it is as the title suggests a funny story so I hope you enjoy this one because it is quite a laid-back and chill story so yeah there might not be many action-packed scenes but there will be comedy I hope at least I tried my best anyways Make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't checked it checked it out. I have already uploaded a serious short movie if you are into the suspense kind of thing on Apollo Ochiha channel. Yeah, again, I tried my best to do so. So yeah, don't come after me in the comments if the stories are not that good. I mean, yeah, I'm open to criticism, but yeah, just don't go too hard on me, okay? Anyways, enough said, enough of joking. Without any further ado, let's begin with our today's story. Our story begins in Konoha Gakure no Sato, as we go towards the said village to see that it was October 10th and it was night time as everything was peaceful, seemingly peaceful. That is until a huge fox descended upon the whole village as it roared upon them. But as soon as it did, with a farting noise, it disappeared in a cut scream. As everyone was left shocked and baffled with a huge sweat drop on their faces. What the hell just happened? D they were sure that they were under attack by the strongest Biju. Did it just disappear with the farting noise? What the hell is going on here? As now we see on the other side, the masked person was also shocked. What the fuck just happened? Said the person as Minato was also surprised. D did you? D did, you did you do that? I, I didn't do anything. As now we see, on the other side, Kushina was back to her feet as well as the Biju was sealed once more within her as Biju realized what has just transpired. What the hell? W why am I back here? I thought I was gotten, gotten free. Man, this, this is a weird nightmare if I'm having one. As now we see, Kushina was also baffled why she was laying next to Naruto inside a room until she remembered the QB. It was freed and then, 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 then I'm here? As now we see Naruto was looking up at her as he made the face of Patrick Bateman. As now we see Kushina also did the same. Wait, what? She said shaking her head. What is going on here? As after that Naruto just giggled looking at her as smiling down at her child. No matter what has happened, she picked, picked him up and now we see she was holding on to Naruto until Naruto's face turned into that one of Ohio final boss as he was looking at all of us who are the readers here. As after that we see time passed as the masked person in the end was able to escape while Minato and Kushina were in the council chamber with Naruto who was sleeping now. As the council was quite weirded out by what has transp just transpired so you mean to say that the qb after being broken free somehow ended up inside kushina back again as it was before with a fart noise yes that is what everyone heard now didn't it yes yes it yes we did but isn't it kind of weird yes yes it is and you're not gonna question it i mean the shinobi world is weird who knows who did that as Naruto giggled, as he was finally awake. Oh, uh, sorry about that. How about we go home, Naruto? As soon as Naruto left, he looked towards Danzo, who was glaring dagger at the boy. Until, out of nowhere, a metal pipe materialized on him. And so, it was dropped on his head. As Danzo grunted, while everyone stiffened their laughter. What the hell? How come there's a metal pipe here? There's not even any piping that is going up here. You just got piped, Donzo, said one of the elders, as they all chuckled, as everyone laughed. This is not funny. Not funny one bit. As Minato and Hiruzen had noticed that, that Naruto was looking at him before that happened. So they came to a conclusion. Back in the Okage office, I think Naruto might have something to do with the QB and what happened to Donzo. What? That could have been a malfunction, Minato. Not like Naruto, who's just born, could have done that. Yeah, I think the same until... Until that is in front of them, Kamiyami and Shinigami appeared in a white light, and their mere presence demanded, well, respect. Who, who are you, people? 
Kami, Yami, and Shinigami. The set three respectively said so. And we are here to apologize to the two of you. As both of them bowed, we, we accidentally mm, placed your son's spirit with the one that was soon to be Seikai to another one with the abilities of memes. M memes? What is that? Ugh, this is gonna be hard, says Shinigami. Memes are basically weird funny stuff that happens and transpires. He has been granted those abilities to his extent. He can use them whenever he deems fit and necessary. And thanks to that, it has happened. Wait, what? So you mean to say that the QB and that fart noise and everything? Yes. It is basically funny things that are going to happen from now on. And we pity you. Because even if he is going to be raised up as a nice kid, the only thing that he can do is pranks and cause chaos. Because he has a spirit of chaos, which is a mischievous spirit, even though his name is chaos. So yeah, best of luck with that. He's blessed by it. As after that, we see Kamiyami Shinigami disappeared. As a voice was heard, you're all boned. So majorly, amazingly boned. In Markiplier's voice. As they all begin to look, was that a ghost? I don't think so. As Naruto begins to giggle again. As now we see... Time began to pass by as Naruto reached at the age of six. And soon, his parents had given birth to another child as well. And that child was his baby sister, Mito. As now we see the three-year-old Mito, who was three years younger than Naruto, was seated next to Naruto, was six years old, as both of them were playing in the garden. The only people that Naruto adored was his Gigi, Hiroz and Sarutobi, his godfather, Hirosani, aka Jiraiya, and his family. He adored them to death, and were the only ones who were saved from his pranking. As for the rest of the village, once this was revealed to the council, they they tried to make precautionary measures, but even if Naruto didn't want it to, there were pranks. A lot of them suffered greatly. For example, Inizukas were pranked, in a sense, by Naruto cursed them that they will all turn bald. And that is what happened. They all now had shiny heads that could be tracked down by miles away. That even shone in the middle of the darkest of the nights, like a shining ball of moon. They also possessed a canines that were completely bald and same. Everyone made fun of them, but that is when something more interesting happened to Uchiha's. As soon as their cool dojutsu was activated, they would continuously do nothing more than dance, which was salsa dance, while casting jutsus. Now think about it, while you're in the middle of an intense battle, and you begin to do salsa dance. And your enemy, he can't do anything except just sit back and laugh while they were doing hand seals. As now we see, as for Akamichis, Naruto cursed them when they denied him entry into their BBQ restaurant by saying that no matter what they do, they will make the spiciest of food and they will have diarrhea continuously for exactly one week whenever they eat beef. And that is what was they were suffering with. So much so that now we see Minato had bags under his eyes as he was seated there with a cup of coffee. Ah, <sighs> finally some peace. He has been dealing with a lot of complaints regarding Naruto. Now he guessed why Kami, Yami and Shinigami told him good luck. As Kushina then said, hey, it can't be that bad. They're always on my ass in case, Kushina. They're always demanding why Naruto is doing this. How am I to tell them that he's blessed by chaos himself, the spirit of pranksters and all that? Yeah, I guess you're right. But it, that those things are quite funny if you think about them. Yeah, lucky for us to say because we're the only ones he doesn't prank. Well, there are the Yugas and Aburamis as well. That is because they have been respectful. Since the Uchiha incidents, poor bastards. Even now when they are serious, they begin to do the salsa dance. Without realizing, as Kushina bursted out laughing. She could still see Fugaku Uchiha, the most serious of the serious hardcore Uchihas, just doing salsa dance while giving his hardcore speech that he usually did. That was quite amazing. As now we see, Naruto then looked towards Mito, who, uh, who he was telling the stories to, as Mito giggled. Nissan, you're funny. Ah, thanks, Mito. I try my best. Until they were attacked. Attacked by... Iwa Shinobi, who surrounded Minato and Kushina and locked them within.
by activating the seals reversely as Mito was captured. Nissan, stop doing that. Leave her alone, said Naruto. <laughs> what you're gonna do, kid? Huh? Tell me. I said leave her alone! As they did nothing, I began to laugh as suddenly Naruto's eyes darkened. As Naruto then sat, nothing more than just pointing his fingers towards them before tapping on something and pulling it back. As a bird sound was heard until it was revealed, what have you done? It's eagle time. As a sam can of tuna landed near them, <laughs> what is a can of tuna gonna do? As suddenly from the sky, shadow emerged as their eyes went, oh fuck, before it was cut as a huge eagle in the form of an egg landed upon them, destroying them completely, turning into bloody smear. As for Mito and the one who was holding it, Naruto looked at him. Leave her alone. As after he did, Naruto then said, Now leave. I'm gonna curse you. Whenever you're gonna take step, your feet are gonna sound like Spongebob. And that is what happened. They begin to sound like squeaky feet. Whenever he dashed, did anything, or even just put a foot down. And so, his shinobi carrier was over with that. Because that a curse would even, in the broad daylight, would make him the eye candy of everyone. As he escaped, now we see that the eagle disappeared. And surprisingly enough, the people down there were not killed because of Naruto's abilities. They were turned into plain white paper sheet as Naruto began to fold them. What are you doing, brat? Wait, d don't, don't! As Naruto turned them into a paper plane and flew them into the air. Why don't you return back to your village? I hope they do, at least. As now we see the parents return, as the seals return back to normal, the parents arrived there, and so did the others. As now we see, the clanners were there as well. As as the Nezukas were shining barley until the others had to wear glasses. As she looked down, oh. As for Uchiha's, Fugaku was there. Minato, is everything okay? As Minato stifled his laughter, yes, everything is fine, Fugaku. As Fugaku ground, realizing that he was still doing the salsa dance all by himself, without, without being doing anything. Oh, curse you, Uzumaki. Because of you, I'm suffering this, he said as he did a twirl on his own. As now we see, Naruto was laughing. You didn't have, shouldn't have done that. As Naruto then hugged the sister. Are you okay, Mito? You really were cool, Nissan, as you tell. See, I told you I was cooler. As now we have a time skip. The academy years were quite, well, weird. Sasuke tried to tell that he was elite and whatnot while doing salsa dance, all the while Kiba, who was bald as a shining orb, tried his best, but Naruto would just shine the light on him, illumin illuminating the whole classroom. As for the Naras, once Shikamaru beat him, only once, with logic in Shogi, Naruto was enraged, so much so that he cursed them, he cursed them with hyperactivity. Whenever they try to be lazy, they will just get back on their feet and become super effective and efficient. The Naras were enraged with that, while the other were just dead panning because that was the most proficient thing that has ever done to them. Naras became the most hardworking clan, Naras, of everyone. As now we see, while in the middle of the council, we see that Shikaku Narada said, Minato, curse your damn brat, he's making us do all the hard work and every stuff that we hate. You hate doing hard work, that is, and being active. Yes! Jeez, Shikaku, for once you're doing good. Why are you that mad? The boy has done us a favor, all of us, even you. Yes, I think so. As a pipe then appeared, as Danzo avoided it. Ha! I finally gotten better. As suddenly from behind a pipe was swung at him, as he fell down face first to the ground. Ah, damn it, even if my head doesn't hurt that bad, it still is irksome that I have to get a nudge from a pipe from nowhere out of whenever I speak in the council chamber. Well, sorry about that. Naruto hasn't lifted up that curse. And I don't think that he has even remembered that he did so. Then what about mine? I have been doing continuously salsa dance whenever I try to be serious or in the council meeting. Sorry about that. I can even hear the Mexican music now. The what now? Nothing. Can we continue on with this meeting? Yes. Sensei has found out about an organization known as the Akatsuki, made out of the most rogue groups, rogue group of shinobis from all of the elemental nation except for Konoha. That is, la until last year, Rochimaru joined them. This is not good, said Fukaku doing the salsa dance. Still, in the whole 
council chamber, while Tazumi then sat, wearing a cap, trying to trying our best to hide her shining bald head. Then what should we do? This is not good, Minato. This is certainly not good. Yes, we need to come up with precautionary measures and fast. I have already written some down. As now we see, with burning fury, Shikaku Nara, the laziest man, came up with conclusions that they could take to avoid the confrontation or even deal with them. You know what? I'm glad that Naruto cursed you and your clan because you're being very, very productive. As Shikaku ground, he just wanted to laze around, look at the sky, and admire the clouds. And now he did. Now he seriously did. As now on the other side of the sea, a few days passed. As the Akatsuki, after hearing about the unique abilities of the young Uzumaki, arrived. And once they did, Naruto saw one of them spying, that was Zetsu, and he cursed him to become multiple colored man. Within 10 seconds, he will change one shade. As now we see Zetsu with a deadpan expression return while others were stifling their laughter. Um, don't ask question, I'll answer. Pain sama. I am feeling pain for the past first time, being turned into a fucking guard, you being walking shtick. Yeah, I guess you are, you are now. But how did this even happen? The boys see me and curse me with turning and changing colors within every 10 seconds. As now we see Zetsu turning from purple, red to different shades. As everyone begins to laugh, what are you gonna do now, glow in the dark? As everyone did so, trying to figure out if they did, as Zetsu was glowing like an RGB light, as everyone was now Especially, those of the others were now on the ground laughing their asses off because of what happened to Zetsu. This is a dangerous power. Think of what he can foil our plan dangerously. Now I know what happened. Thought one of the masked person was there. Damn it. Damn that brat. I was so shocked and scared that I might have messed things up. I might have done something to the Biju. Damn it. It was him. Should have known better. I need to take care of this brat and fast. We're gonna have to deal with him. Fast. But he's just doing nothing more than harmless pranks. He's giving curses to people left and right. As now we see, Zetsu then said, I'm not dealing with that. You deal. As that is when, after the all of them let Zetsu had a connection with his mother, until he heard, We would like to apologize for the delay, since your signals are quite low and the number you're trying to reach is quite not possible to reach yet. What? Since when is there... Telecommunication services between a deep connection of chakra. Until now we see Kagi connected with him. As now we see Kagi then said, My son, I have seen what has been transpiring. That boy is blessed by the chaos god. Chaos? Yes, the gods of prank and pranksters. And the boy is causing chaos in the elemental nation. So much so that Kami and Shinigami themselves have arrived to say good luck to all of us. So I'm not gonna tell you what you should do. What? Well, what do you mean by that? <sighs> Leave me as I am, child. Maybe it is for the best that I remain here. Because being there, yeah, I'd rather not be humiliated and embarrassed. I've already contacted with the other old Suzuki's, And they, after seeing what is going on there, said, Fuck this shit, I'm out, and left. Because they don't want to mess with that person as well. But, but what about the Akatsuki? What about me who has turned into a freaking RGB? Well, son, I might say that some of the color changes look good on you. You were very dull and gray before. Get it? Stop causing when funny jokes, mother. Well, one time I was shining brightly at the brat. He cursed me with using the most obvious as well as most boring puns possible. Get it? Boring? Because the moon is boring? Ugh, I hate this. Yeah, I guess I do too, mother. Regardless of that, my child. My fucking RGB stick. Do as I say, and let illum the world illuminate with your different shades of light. Get it? <sighs> Fine, mother. I'm cutting off the connection. Good. Cut yourself off as well, because you're made out of tree. Get it? As now we see, Kagia ground because of the puns that she was using. Unbeknownst to her, this was unbeknownst to Nord, this was him causing her to do this. And the other Otsuzukis, they just after listening to Kagia were. Well, pissed off enough that they didn't even want to bother with this kid or this world. Yeah, but they can have their chakra. It was not worth it to go down there. So, just for the heck of it, he thought why not gather the ten tails and kill this brat. Maybe it will work. Until the next day Akatsuki arrived. 
Conan was bald again, and this time Payne was acting zest zesty. And as for Sasori, he liked explosions, and as for Deidara, he liked puppets, and as for Hiran, he loved living and lives more than anything. And as for Kakazu, he liked to waste money while being conscious that he needed to save money. He loved money, but he was wasting it no matter how hard he tried. And as for Tobirama, he was, I mean, as for the masked person, he was breakdancing now. Like Michael Jackson doing the moonwalk continuously left and right. That Brad has caused us a lot of pain, said Madra as he moonwalked in front of them. As now we see, Kisame was doing the emotes from the fortnight as he said, Damn it, I'm hating this dance. Why won't it stop? Make it end. That is the curse of Uzumaki. The power of memes or whatever it is. It is a cursed and true power. A power to be feared. Yes, I almost got hit by something that he calls Truck-kun. A metal machine. Sad saucery. Ugh, I hate this. I'm gonna go make some C4 explosions. As he hated himself for even saying those words. Hmm. Puppets would be nice. Ah, oh, damn it! Damn it all! Yelled all of them. We have realized one thing. Said moonwalking Toby. We should not mess with him. And continue on with our plan. But but his mother is the Jinchuriki of the Nine Tails. We're gonna use the Inkaku and Ginkaku brothers. Fuck that. We're not gonna go near those family members. He is not only terrorizing his own village, we are his enemies. I have heard what he has done to Eva. He summoned a summoning eagle through the air with the can of tunas and it almost turned them all into a piece of paper. Yeah, I heard about that as well. As now we see, time began to pass by as Naruto reached at the age of 13 and became a Ganon. The others were afraid now, very very afraid of him, except for a given few who were his friends. As now we see Sasuke and said, hmm, dope. You pass, huh? Yeah, stop doing the salsa dance, Sasuke. Not that I mind. As Sasuke was still doing the salsa dance all by himself. As now we see, the teams were announced. Sasuke, who was still doing the salsa dance, Naruto, and Sakura Haruno. Who Naruto cursed that she would bob her head left and right like the metal gear, metal heads that used to listen to hard rock metal whenever she tried to fawn over Sasuke. As she was bobbing her head back and forth, Sasuke couldn't. What are you doing and what is going on? If you promise to stop bothering me, I will lift this curse up for you for a limited time. Please do. And so Naruto did, after both of them said please. And the next thing they did was insult him, so their curse returned again. As now we see, after that, the Ganon exam happened with Kakashi. And this was the most odd one out because Naruto threatened him to turn him into a guy and guy was, should be turned into him if he not complied and so he obliged because he didn't want to be turn into some weird ass who will be running around yelling youth at the kids faces in green spandex so yeah cursed him for admitting to naruto's and giving him the bells which he gave to both sasuke and sakura who were doing the salsa dance and bobbing their heads like metal rock band words and so the ganon exams after being ended their dream admissions journey began and after doing D rank missions left and right, they did the first C rank missions in which they defeated or more like humiliated their enemies. Both of the brothers were turned zesty for, zesty for each other and began to kiss one another, trying to raise each, each other up. And as for the, as for Naruto's ulti, ultimate ability, it came to test in front of no one other than the Demon of the Mist. As Naruto then said, "Stay back, everyone. Leave this to me." As Naruto hovered a hand in front of his face, as it turned into a face that had immense jawline that could cut trees as Naruto looked at him with raising an eyebrow as uh, music was being played as the as the rays that were coming out of his face were more than enough to knock him out as a fuse bar that appeared in front of him turned into complete empty as a KO sound was heard while the others were just left baffled as that is when we see Zabuza then says damn it his he is really the Giga Chat as after that, Naruto smiled, giving his emote in, in front of all of us in the form of victory by showing the Patrick, Patrick Bateman action in which he would close his eyes and make his face fear with a smile in the end and shake his head left and right. As now we see after that ended, they returned after that weird-ass battle in 
the land of waves in Tarzana's village. And soon it was found out what has happened. And soon the, the horrible memes descended upon them. Naruto made sure the most horrible and dead memes were the only dreams those who have caused them pain would have for all eternity. So much so that Gato himself arrived back for that or these dreams to be taken away while handing everything to Tazuna. But Tazuna, after have giving a sinister smirk, then said you will continue to have them. It will only increase. And so, now we see, doing the Gangnam style dance, he left. Because of the dreams that it was the only way he could run and walk. As Naruto was laughing his ass off while witnessing this. This power. This power makes me feel strong. I can do anything. As that is when he did Uncle Ben's quote. With green powers comes. And that is when the quote ended because it was a meme. As now we see. All of them returned back to the village. And soon tuning exams happened. And then tuning exams, Naruto used the meme's abilities to the max potential until he was given the damn tuning title and made sure that he sit with this one out. As Naruto was pouting at that until the Konoha crush happened, which Naruto fast forwarded thanks to his memeing abilities, thanks to him having the remote and literally fast forwarding the whole reality with that. So much so that Naruto stopped the Konoha crush. And that is when the Akatsuki were close to completing their mission yeah, because Naruto was getting bored of his own story and fast forwarded it. And then using the abilities of the mask that he summoned, he became the mask, the mask of Loki. And then unleashed fury upon the Akatsuki who was trying to revive the ten tails by turning the ten tails into a small puppy that he adopted. And not only that, but making Akatsuki zesty for one another. And making sure whenever they tried to eat, there would be phantom tax to no end and made sure they had zero riz as well so they couldn't riz up anyone except for their selves for whom they were being zesty for as after giving them these curses the Kartsky begged for death and many other things even for punishment maximum punishment but nothing was granted they were left alone to fend for themselves all the while Naruto who was now at the age of 15 was seated there as for Mito she was 16 now as everyone was looking at Naruto with weird eyes. How are you 15? I just fast forward the reality so much so that I ended the boring story and the whole monologue that this fucker is speaking. Wait, what? Y you know about me? Yes, that is why I'm breaking the fourth wall, Mr. Apollo, Chiha, and Meta What Ifs, whatever you are. And you guys, who are all listeners, make sure you leave a like and subscribe before, you, before this fucker ends the story. As now we see Naruto return back to normal reality and continue to explain the situation to them. As once this was explained and the four wall that was heard, we now see that Naruto had a lot of hurdles to face with. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna face any more of this bullshit. The story ends here. Like this stupid idiot's channel if you enjoyed today's story. Wait, I get to say that, not you. Yeah, I'm not gonna argue with you too, man. I have the power of the memes. With that, I can break the fourth wall as well. Are you pulling a Deadpool? Of course I am. He's the embodiment of memes, or have you forgotten that? Huh, I guess you're right. Please listen to him, guys. As this is it for the day, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.